Hi, in today's lesson we're going to make panna cotta with chill biscuits. Now, this is actually the, one of the first desserts that we do when we start grade 11. Uh, the panna cotta, some of you might have made that in grade 10 and if you have we, we use pretty much the same recipe uh, but hopefully when we're presenting it to the customers we're, we're probably up in the level of presentation a little bit. So, Follow along with this at home. It's on page 78 uh, of your recipe books that we've attached to your emails. If you don't have the ingredients at home, that's fine. Um, but just try and follow in the recipe book if you can, just so that you've, uh, you've actually seen how the recipe works with the demonstration. Okay, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to soak some gelatine. So I've got some leaf gelatine here. This stuff comes in boxes like this, so it's quite large catering boxes. And I'm going to soak a leaf of this in cold water. So remembering that gelatine is actually a, a, a meat-based product, so the panna cotta itself is not, a, um, is not a dish that you would offer to vegetarians. So the other dessert that we have on there, the Profiteroles can be offered to vegetarians, but not this one because gelatine is a meat based product. Gelatine quite often comes in, uh, in powder form, so you know, your aeroplane jelly and you know, your flavoured jellies that you get. We're using a clear gelatine so that it sets our panna cotta without colouring it at all. So, what is panna cotta? Uh, panna cotta is an Italian cream sweetened dessert that basically has a very similar flavour to ice cream, but the texture of a, of a set mousse or jelly. So it's a cross between a number of different things. So I'm gonna make a half recipe here. So if you're looking at the book, I'm making a half recipe. So 250 mils of cream. I'm gonna warm that cream through while my gelatine is soaking in cold water. It's really important that that gelatine soaks in cold water and not warm water. If it's soaking in warm water, it's just going to dissolve into the water and we're not going to have any gelatine left to put into our panna cotta. So, I want to make sure that the heat from this doesn't go up the side of the pan. If the heat's coming up the side and the flames are coming up the side, then they're going to burn the cream around the sides of that pan. So, I want to make sure that, that the flames are just sitting on the bottom of the pan there. And I don't want to scorch that at all. Okay, so, with regard to doing half a recipe, I'm also going to have 30 grams instead of 60 grams of icing sugar. And we're going to use a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste in this. Now you could use fresh vanilla beans and in a, another recipe later on I'll show you how to use fresh vanilla beans. Um, but this is a really good product, this one. It gives us yeah, the um, flexibility of being able to keep this in the fridge along with the actual fresh vanilla um, pulp taste that you get from it. So a little bit better than vanilla essence. If you are making this at home, vanilla essence is fine for home. Yeah, don't, don't think that you can't make it if you haven't got either vanilla beans or vanilla bean paste. You can use your vanilla essence, that's fine. So that cream's coming up to the heat now. We just want to stir that, make sure it's hot all the way through making sure I don't burn the cream on the sides of the pan. Okay, my gelatine is starting to soak, so it's starting to soften in there. And I'm going to put this into a little Dariol mould. So I've got three Dariol moulds here, so this half recipe hopefully will make three of those um, moulds. I'm just waiting for that cream to come up to heat. As soon as that boils, then I can get the other ingredients into it. We're going to also garnish this with a, with a coolie. So you've seen me make the coolies. They should be on the YouTube pages, so you can access those anytime you want. So if you're unsure about how to make coolie. And we're also going to use a chill biscuit on there. So uh, the chill biscuit that we make, is a, uh, a very crispy little biscuit and they cook quite quickly so they only take four or five minutes to cook so while this panna cotta is setting 
then I'll move on to the next part of that, which is going to be the, uh, the chill biscuits. So that's nearly hot enough now, just checking the heat. Not quite there. Okay, at this stage I can put my vanilla bean paste in. We're nearly hot enough, so that this one's on and pull it down. So I'll just pop my vanilla bean paste into that mixture. let it boil over the top so I just want to get it hot enough I can see it boiling in the pan now so it's just starting to boil around the edges just keep moving it so it doesn't burn on the sides and then I can put my gelatine which you can see that gelatine now instead of being a, a hard piece of leaf has now softened down and I can put that gelatine into there and I can also put my 30 grams of icing sugar in there as well. So I want all of that to dissolve into the cream. Now one thing to be careful of whenever you use your gelatine is to make sure that there are no lumps of jelly in whatever you're making. So there's a couple of ways of doing that. One is to really effectively stir right into the corners and all the way around so that you're sure that all of the jelly has dissolved into whatever you're putting it in, in this case cream. The second way, just to be very careful, is to actually put that through a sieve, just in case there are any lumps of gelatine in there. So, so just in case, I'm just popping that through a sieve. And I can see when I look at my sieve, there are no lumps of gelatine in there, which tells me that that's really effectively dissolved into my mixture. So with my mixture now, I want to fill up three of these little Dariol moulds. I'm going to fill those up just a couple of centimetres from the top. And then I'm going to put those in the blast chiller, just to make sure that they're um, they're cold for the end of this step. So it shouldn't take too long to set in the blast chiller. Okay, so that's our panna cotta setting. So the next thing that we can do is to make a tool biscuit mixture. So for our chill biscuit mixture, and this is a wafer style biscuit, I don't know if you saw the demo that I had before, I had some egg whites left over. So I've got three egg whites left over here from when I made the pastry custard, and I'm going to use those egg whites now to make this um, biscuit mixture. So it's, it's a crispy biscuit mixture, so rather than use the whole egg, it's just using the egg white, which helps it go crispy. And the first thing we do is we're going to cream together our butter, so I've got there, I'm making about a, a half a recipe of this, so I've got about 85 grams of butter there, and I'm going to cream that together with the same amount of sugar, so about 85 grams of sugar, and I'm just starting that off on a low Scrape that down off the sides there. Just make sure that that butter is really mixing together in there. So I'm just going to keep scraping that off the sides just to make sure that the butter is creaming with that sugar. And that's a bit better. So I can now bring that mixture up and keep that creaming for a moment. I want to get this 
it's nice and creamy there. So whenever you see that on a menu, on a recipe, sorry, what you're looking to do is to actually beat the butter and sugar together until it looks creamy. Okay, so, so we're actually wanting it to look nice and creamy. And occasionally, I've just got to stop the beater and just bring that down from the sides and make sure that it's all in there getting beaten at the bottom and not just sitting on the sides. Okay, so now we can start adding, that looks nice and creamy now, we can start adding some of our egg, so some of our egg white and some of the flour. So I've added about half of each of those. I'm just going to mix those together. Now I can add the rest of those now that I've mixed in. So the rest of my egg white and the rest of my flour. And this chill biscuit mixture can be flavoured as well. So I've seen uh, cocoa powder go into it to make a chocolate looking chill. Uh, you could add vanilla to it, raspberry powder. So there's a number of different things that, that can be added to that. Flavour. We're keeping it really simple today. It's just a basic chill mixture. Scrape that off the sides again. And one of the good things about this mixture is it freezes really well. So it's it's like a, a regular cookie mixture, I suppose, that that it freezes. But what it means is that you can keep that in a little tube and just bring it out whenever you need it. So you can wrap it in a little bit of silicon paper. And pop it. Okay, so that, that's well mixed now. So we're going to have a look how to turn these into chill biscuits. Okay, so while our panna cotta is setting, now we're going to just make a few of these chill biscuits. Now I'm using a stencil for this. You don't have to use a stencil, but um, these we find keep everything looking the same when we're doing our um, when we're doing our, our dessert, so that every single plate looks the same. So to use a stencil, these are just actually made out of um, the disposable chopping boards that you buy for when you go camping. Miss Wright just sat and cut these out using a Stanley knife and it's just cut exactly the same shape into quite a number of them. So we've got quite a lot of stencils there that we use um, and this one, they're, they're all the same in that kind of surfboard shape. So I'll take a little bit of my chill biscuit mixture, pop that onto the end of my stencil and then just wipe it across and then move the stencil along, wipe it across again Repeating that process all the way along the tray. So eventually we'll have quite a few. Now these are something that you have to be really careful with when you're cooking because they're so thin, they cook very quickly and they're best used when they're straight out of the oven. So when they're straight out of the oven, they're actually quite flexible and we can make them into different shapes. So we can twist them make that shape slightly more attractive looking. But as soon as they've been out of the oven for more than a minute or so, they start to set. Okay, so that's my chill biscuits onto my tray now. So I can, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six there. So I've got plenty of chill biscuits there. I'm going to go and pop those in the oven. It's really important when we put those in the oven to turn the fan off the oven. So we don't want the convection fan going because that will blow the paper away and ruin the biscuit. So I'm going to turn the fan down. I'm going to pop them in the oven at a nice high oven, so around 200 degrees, but just for six minutes. So I'm going to pop those in the oven there and then we'll get on with the rest of this thing.
let's have a look at putting a panna cotta together now. So, my panna cotta's out of the blast chiller here. And we just look at how they've set. I'm just going to get some hot water in them. Hot water is great for getting these out. I don't want to melt them completely, so I don't want to leave them sitting in hot water. But I'm just going to hold them in that hot water just for a moment. 